Hi, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you water gilding. Basically, what I want to do is make the video I wish I'd seen 20 years ago. I didn't have a very good introduction to water gilding, some very bad techniques, and it actually took me a long time to get comfortable and happy with water gilding. So I'm starting off with this English uh, picture frame. I'm just regilding um, these bars along here. They are short and thin, so this is perfect to start learning to water guild. If it's wider and longer, it's, it's difficult. So these little, little short stretches, so if you can find something like this to practice on, that's great. These are all the water gilding tools I'm going to be using. I'll leave a link below to a video which explains all these, what they're for, and where you can buy them from. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do one leaf and then I'll talk you through um, how to do it. I'm using 23.75 carats. Um, for antiques that's really the best gold to be using because you can, it'll match what's already there, except this has um, a lacquer on it so it's a bit orange but I will be matching it. Right, I'm, I'm wiping any oils, you know, if you touch it with your fingers you'll leave little um, fingerprints on there and that'll pick up the gold, so keep your knife clean. Right, the gilding lacquer is, or gilding water, whichever you prefer, is four parts water, one part alcohol and a little bit of rabbit skin glue. Now the little bit of glue is what helps stick it but actually what you're doing is you're activating the glue that's in the bowl so really wet that bit of grease pick it up lay it on now i'll just go through the whole of this leaf i know that i make this look easy and that's because i've been doing it for 20 years so don't get stressed if for you it doesn't go on easy. I wish I could have shown you what I was like 20 years ago. But it would have it would have involved a lot of um, bleeping of the video because I hated gilding. As you can see, I'm moving, and that's causing the gold to move around. Now when you're, when you're starting, you want to make sure there's uh, no windows open, no fans blowing, no people coming and going behind you. Um, you really, really have to control your breath. Breathing near the gold will make it blow away. Right, make sure your knife is dry and clean. Use your nail to pick up that sheet of tissue paper, tuck it under I'm picking up my pad and using the handheld, I'm using the um, strap underneath, I find that more comfortable. I'm placing my knife about a quarter of the way up, just slightly touching as you can see. I'm blowing across the gold to lift that edge up and then I'm pulling it down the pad, turn the knife, blow directly on it. You can use the knife to straighten it out and blow down directly on it. Then I'm cutting, see th this is this is how temperamental the gold is, I'm talking so it's blowing so the way you sort that out you can either take your knife and blow it this is why gilding is stressful because this gold will do whatever you don't want it to do basically 
Take your knife, I'm going to cut this into five sections because that's a nice size to cover these bars. So place it on, pull it all the way across. Place it on, pull it. After you've left the leaf, lift it up. Your gilding lacquer, really wet your surface. I'm just doing one little bit at a time because it will dry very quickly because of the alcohol. I'm putting the brush over my face to get some grease. Lay your gilder's tip so that you pick up all the gold and there's nothing dangling down. That was the one big issue I was shown gilding by picking it up at the very edge and having all this gold dangling at the bottom and it was so frustrating because it was so hard to gild that way. Then just lay it down. Now I've got a little tiny bit come off there and stuck on here because my brush caught the water. So I want to make sure that's dry. Don't want that to happen again. Now, when I started, this was my, one of my first tips and it's, it's got quite grimy and you can see it's all clogged together. Now that's because I was shown to gild using Vaseline. I get some Vaseline and I put it on my hand there. And then I would take the tip and brush it over the Vaseline and that would pick up the gold. Now that's fine. When you're starting out, it's actually easier to use the Vaseline. But as you can see, it clogs your brush up. Clogs that brush up quite a lot. I then progressed from that to be able to just use the grease on my face. I'm a particularly greasy person, so that's great for me. Um, but when you're beginning, it is sometimes easier to use this bit of Vaseline. I do occasionally need Vaseline when um, I'm doing a tiny little patch and you're picking up, trying to pick up like millimeters of gold. And in that case, I then actually um, just get some lip balm so this is killing two birds with one stone. I'll put the lip balm on my lips. And then because I'm now used to putting the gilder's tip up to my face, I'll brush it across my lips. And it's just picking up a tiny bit of um, Vaseline and it's not really, it's not going to clog the brush up like that used to do. You can clean your brush. Um, that will come off with alcohol. Um, this is a, an old tatty tip and I don't want to use that anymore. So. My new ones are now much cleaner. Um, it's also, you can see, this is thinner than this one. And weirdly, the thinner it is, the easier it is. Right, so I've got this little bit here, so I want to cut the gold to size. So, Again, bring my knife down, wet the area. Now I've started using this smaller tip for smaller pieces. I just, um, you don't have to, you can keep using this big one. I just find um, it's easier and you don't bend the tip much. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get rid of the air bubbles that are in here. Uh, making sure all the gold is attached. But I can't do that straight away. If I press that down, I'll split it. So for me, a good rule of thumb is lay a leaf, press a leaf, lay a leaf, and then press your previous one. Um, but that depends how quick you are because um, it could dry 
um, a lot quicker, especially if you're in a warmer environment. So you have to really look at the gold, see what it's doing. You can st you can watch it dry. We're not going to watch it dry, but you can. <laughs> oh. See how frustrating the gold is. You can pick up gold, but you have to use your nails. If you use your fingertips, it will really... St I mean, it's already stuck to my nail, look. If it's done that, and that's because there's one little tiny hair there. See if you can blow it back flat. Turn it round. Uh, you see I'm already evaporating. There we go, a bit more. Lay it down. The other thing about using Vaseline is it's more difficult to let the gold go. When you're just using grease from your face, the water is stronger than the grease from your face, if you see what I mean, and it, it wants to go onto the water. Whereas sometimes when you're using Vaseline, there's that fight between the strength of the water and the strength of the Vaseline on your tip. And that's when you can tear. If you find that you are tearing a lot, try and get used to um, using just the grease off your face. Now as a woman I don't actually use um, much makeup and that's mostly because if I put foundation on or powders or anything like that it interferes with um, the gilding so I'm sorry you've got, you've got me looking as I look because um, I'm not putting makeup on. I've put this one down after that one, but there was less water on this, and you can see it's much flatter, uh, shinier, where there's, there's still a load of ripples in that. So this one, I can just press down. The other thing you want to do is make sure that this is dry. If that gets wet, because if it's touching that and it gets wet, you'll pull the leaf back off. So I actually touch my face with it, because it's easier to tell sometimes if it's damp. Um, if it's damp, just put it to one side, get another piece of dry cotton wool. That will dry eventually and then you can reuse that. But at the moment that's still too wet to, to press down. Nail under there, lift it up. So as you can see, when I blew my previous piece of gold, this one lifted and, and it's gone over on itself. So all you need to do is get your knife underneath, roll it back, blow it flat. So you put your knife down, it's not hard, you're not cutting the gold at this point, you're just at an angle, you're not at that angle, you're at that angle. Blow. Drag your gold down, blow again. Lay your knife, I go end first, this end first, down, across. Now it's starting to drag a tiny little bit, now that means the gold won't cut properly. I've only laid a couple of sheets but already my knife is blunting so I've got some 320 wet and dry, just a few times, clean it off, and then these next cuts are going to be much cleaner. So if it starts to drag, 
sharpen your knife. The straighter it is when you pick it up, the straighter it will go onto your piece. So thoroughly wet it, go slightly over, pick your gold up, and I start at the furthest edge away from me and sort of almost roll it towards me. So when you come to lay your next piece, start at where you've just finished, tiniest bit of an overlap, and pull away. Never brush into your new, into, never brush into that newly laid gold because you'll pull it up. So brush away from it. Make sure it's fully wet. Any dry patches, obviously your gold won't stick. Get your gold. Remember start away from you and drop it down slowly. Right, I'm going to see if I can purposefully go wrong. I'm going to pick the gold up by the very edge. So that what I've got is a dangly bit of gold. That is not, as you can see, it's really difficult to control. It's flapping all over the place. And I'd have to, it's going to fall off the leaf as well. It's also going to fall off this brush. Yeah, that just totally didn't work. Now that is how I was shown to gild. And it just, I think that's why it took me so long because it was so frustrating. Um, you, you just can't gild that way. So you've got to get the whole of the gold onto the tip. It's going to look like that, nothing dangling. Then you can control it much better. Round off your pad, it's perfectly dry and I'm pressing directly down, I'm not pulling, it's directly down, off, directly down, off, check if it's wet, it is wet, turn your pad, down, off, down, off, now that was really too wet to press, but it didn't rip, let's pretend this gap here was a rip, Go back in with your gilding lacquer. You pick a little piece up and it's called patching. I used to say that I would patch first and then gild because it was so bad. It's rare I have to do patching these days. I mean, you've got, you, no one's perfect and the gold will split regardless of how good you are. So don't get frustrated.
So we've got some really tiny patches to do, I mean really tiny, so you don't want to put a great big patch on something that's tiny, so I'm just going to cut these into really small little, little bits. I'm not even sure if the camera can pick that up, but it's right there, just a little bit of black. Right, so it's been a few hours since I uh, did the gilding. Um, I'm going to be burnishing these. Um, that's the beauty about water gilding, as it, is it can be burnished. Um, I'm just going to get on with that. All you do is get your agate stone and rub. If it pulls the gold off and it's too wet, um, if you leave it for a few days, the burnish isn't as bright. While the bowl is still slightly soft from the gilding lacquer, you get a better shine. Now, I'm hoping that I've covered most things. Um, it's hard for me to remember the problems I had because I was, I did have a lot of problems when I first started gilding. Um, if there is anything that I have missed out or you're struggling with, um, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can answer your question. So I think the things to remember about water gilding is get in a very settled and quiet environment. Get your breathing under control. You saw me even talking or moving my arm over the pad and the gold was going everywhere. That's frustrating. You don't want the gold to be doing that. So just calm yourself down. If you can breathe through your ears, great. Um, and it's literally gilding, water gilding specifically, is about controlling the gold. Um, it will go wrong, it will blow away and rather than just discard that piece, try and save it because it is expensive. It, at the moment it's about, I don't know, about £1.20 maybe for one of those little squares. Now if a little bit of the leaf rooks up and you can't save it, just cut round it. Um, don't discard the whole leaf, just cut round that piece and then, then use that. I think that's that's all I can remember really. Um, now I really enjoy water gilding. Um, it, did, it did take a long time and that is literally because I had such a bad start. The way I was, the way I was taught wasn't great. Um, they didn't really know what they were doing. We were just all re really a bunch of amateurs. Since that company was dissolved and I had to do this job on my own, um, that's when I started to teach myself and really learn. Um, and I hope that you don't go through what I went through. Um, I want it to be a pleasure for you, as it is for me now. That first time you lay a sheet of gold down and it doesn't split, you want to run around the room celebrating. I mean, it's, it's just, it's a great feeling. And I think, I mean, this is a, a small frame and a small bit of gilding for me to do. There were three tiny, tiny little patches for me to do and they were millimeters. Whereas when I started, I think every sheet that I was laying down had splits, um, air pockets. I was forever patching. I was just going round and round patching. You will have that. You will have to patch. Um, you know, even now I patch, but as I say, three tiny little patches, which, you know, it, it's great. So I really do hope you can um, enjoy water gilding, um, get that pleasure that I get from it now. Um, and just get over that annoying gold flying everywhere um, stage. So I hope, I hope that helps. Um, if there's something I've missed out or you're struggling with, just leave a comment below. I will be making some more videos and um, your suggestions help me decide what, what videos to do, I suppose. So yeah, comments are great. Happy gilding. <laughs>